Hello everyone, this is Francesca and I'm showing you my basement garden. Um, this is coleus, both the red uh, leaves and the green ones with red on the inside. There are diff lots of different types and I've been transplanting my, um, my plants right here. So this one's not very happy. Um, I'll make sure it's nice and moist so it won't die of shock. This one's really pretty too. The flowers are a lovely uh, mauve. And um, let's see, this is a citrus. I'm not sure if it's an orange, a lemon, or a grapefruit. I have, I don't know what's up with my bell peppers. Um, you can see this is a fungus gnat on the leaf. You see that? Um, I got some free soil. I thought, wow, I'm so lucky, free soil. See this, um, these will um, perk up after a few days. They're just annoyed because I repotted them. Um, but um, the free soil had fungus gnats in it and it contaminated all my soil. And I've been fighting them with hydrogen peroxide with water and I need to get some neem oil. So this here is my orchard. I started planting orange, uh, lemon and grapefruit seeds a year ago. So some of these are, are coming up on, I, they'll be like a year old in maybe a month. Maybe, some of them, I, um, I planted some before we left right. the Y and they just grow terribly slowly at first. Um, I also didn't have any extra light. And so as I've gotten, um, the LED lights that's helped. So that's my orchard. Um, and I can't remember what these flowers are. They might, some, somewhere around here I have zinnias, uh, but I'm not sure if that's what these are. Um, I should probably label things. Um, I've got some more coleus here. Um, see, I've got dirt everywhere. Um, here we've got some more peppers. And I think that the reason why some of the leaves are just in bad shape is because of the fungus gnats. And so I'm trying to stay on top of that. Some of these look pre pretty okay-ish. They're a little bit dirty. And here we've got mint. And when I smell it, it reminds me of my childhood because my mom used to have mint in her garden. Here's another little orange tree, more coleus. And over here, these two plants right there are tomatoes and they smell great. They haven't given me any fruit yet. Um, they just grow. More coleus. President Reagan said that tomatoes are vegetables. No, he said that ketchup is a vegetable because um, he loves poor children loved. Um, so here are some more coleus, more bell peppers. And we actually did get a yellow bell pepper from a bell pepper seed that I scooped out of a bell pepper. So more coleus. Bought at the store. It was from the store. Yeah. I usually expect them to be all be hybrids, but this one wasn't. Uh, here's another orange plant maybe, um, or tree, I guess. Um, more mint. And coleus, more coleus. I planted all of the coleus from seed, so it's neat that it's really grown so much in the last year. This is my daughter's bird cage, <laughs> but the birds are upstairs. They have two cages. Um, more bell pepper, another orange or lemon tree. And so um, whenever the fungus gnats seem to be like making a plant unhappy, um, I'll strip off the bad leaves. And so with this one right here, I'm going to cut a soda bottle and then I'm going to plant most of the plant into the bottle and um, it'll make more roots since I think it's kind of unstable um, when a plant is that long. Um, let's see. Oh, my poor, um, poor bell pepper was getting squashed. And so you can see also squash, uh -huh. you can see these fly strips. I have to change them out. Um, the fungus gnats aren't terrible right now, but what really keeps them under control is just 
constantly putting in new fly strips and attacking them with the hydrogen peroxide. This isn't a real kitchen, it's just um, here. <laughs> this is just my work area. Someday we'll plumb it and everything. Um, and then a long time ago when I had two of my chickens in a, a cage down here, one time I didn't latch the cage right and they jumped out and ate all my marigold plants. And this is the only marigold that I have. It was the runt and that's the only reason why it's still left. So I need to get more marigold seeds. Um, here's more coleus. I don't know why there was like a leak sometime in the past. Um, so we'll have to look outside and make sure that the angle of the dirt is right so that it doesn't happen again once we get this place finished. We're in my basement. And here's my last little coleus. And I think there's actually some research that plants grow better. Well, obviously they, they like music um, and I'm not sure like how, you know, what is it about music that makes them grow better, but also that female voices make plants grow better. So I've got to go find the actual research on that. <laughs> All right. So this is obviously just a very low budget garden. I don't have to worry about my neighbors hating my, um, my pots because it's in my basement and I'm not subjecting them to, um, to detergent bottles. But, and then that white sage, um, I think it's either dormant or dead. Um, <laughs> I pulled it up from the yard and um, I water it, but I don't see any changes, so I'm not sure uh, what's up with it. So, But this is just a last little view of my garden. And so maybe when the frost ends for the winter in like May, um, then I'll maybe get some nice pots and put these out front. And then the neighbors can be like, wow, you're so together. <laughs> little do they know. Um, but really these, um, these plants have helped me make it through the winter because it's really snowy outside and that's hard on me. But um, spending some time with my plant therapy helps me to come along. And one more glance at my orchard.